air into your lungs. I can't. I'm all out of energy. I need to eat protein to get some more energy back. Remember to arch your back and be on your tippy toes. You better get moving before all that energy turns to lactic acid. I want to see you use all your energy to burn those calories. Time to get swole. You're not leaving until all your energy is gone. I can't. Finally. I'm done. No, you're not. No, I'm done. That's right, you're done. Who are you and how did you get here? Uh, editing, I think, but I'm Mr. Berman, and you gotta be fired, because everything you just told her is very wrong. But... No buts. Now get yours. Out of here. You see, kids, the three types of energy we're gonna be talking about today are heat, chemical, and electrical. Electrical energy, to put it simply, can be compared to the process of turning a light switch on and off. Just as I am flipping the switch to turn on and off the light, the brain sends a message through electrical energy to signal movement. For Jay to lift the weights, her brain has to start the process by sending a message to her arm through electrical energy. Now, I want to take you deeper into the body with this green screen room. And here, in the stomach, food is transformed into chemical energy, or ATP, and also heat. The use of ATP is a chemical process that releases heat into the surrounding environment. Think like sweating. Your cell temperature rises, so your body needs a way of cooling down. 